Step 5. Verify Auto Bipolar Mode. In this section, we will verify Auto Bipolar Mode, Auto Bipolar Function, Foot Switch Mode, and Automatic Mode. Conduct all Auto Bipolar tests in the standard bipolar mode. Test all Auto Bipolar activations at 20 watts. Verifying Auto Bipolar Function. Enter the Auto Bipolar Mode on the Force Triad by pressing the following buttons. Tool, Setup, Features, and Auto Bipolar. Verify that the Auto Bipolar function is available in the Low, Standard, and Macro modes. The system is in Auto Bipolar mode when an A appears in the middle screen. Set the bipolar power to 20 watts. Verify the bipolar power setting doesn't change when the auto button is active or inactive. Verifying the foot switch mode. Press the bipolar tab on the force triad, then the A and setup buttons. Press the foot hand graphic button, then the auto button. Ensure you can toggle between the two. Leave the unit in the foot hand graphic setting. Set the time to 0.0, .0 seconds. Set the resistance to 2200. Press the back button on the force triad once to go to auto bipolar screen. Press the standard button to select the proper mode. Connect the red test lead to either jack on the bipolar port of the force triad and then connect the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port on the QAES3. Connect the black test lead to the other jack on the bipolar port of the force triad and the opposite end of the black test lead to the variable low on the QAES3. Press F1 on the QAES3 for generator output. Select a 50 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. Verify RF generation occurs when the bipolar foot switch of the force triad is activated. Also verify that RF generation continues when the foot switch is released. Remove one of the test leads from the force triad and verify that RF generation does not occur when the bipolar foot switch of the force triad is activated. Press F3 on the QAES3. Remove all test leads. Verifying Automatic Mode From the Bipolar tab on the Force Triad, press the A button and then the Setup button. Press the Auto button. Press the Back button once to go to the Auto Bipolar screen. Connect the red test lead to either jack on the Bipolar port of the Force Triad, then connect the opposite end of the red test lead to the variable high port on the QAES3. Connect the black test lead to the other jack on the bipolar port of the force triad, then connect the opposite end of the black test lead to the variable low on the QAES3. Press F1 on the QAES3 for generator output. Select a 25 ohm load. Press F4 for start continuous. Verify RF generation occurs automatically at 20 watts. Remove one of the test leads from the force triad. Verify RF generation stops. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop the test, then select 950 ohms. Reconnect the test lead to the force triad. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Verify RF generation occurs automatically at 20 watts. Once again, remove one of the test leads from the force triad and verify RF generation stops. Press F3 to pause the test, then select 1075 ohms. Reconnect the test lead to the force triad. Press F4 on the QAES3 for start continuous. Verify no RF generation occurs. Press F3 on the QAES3 to stop. 
disconnect all test leads, then disable the auto bipolar function on the fourth triad before continuing.